vote percentage he's getting right now. And, and Is there somebody not running that should be running? I mean, I, I get the feeling that this race that laps, lacks somebody, and I don't know whether it's uh, Sherrod Brown or wh who's not running, that's Andrew Cuomo. I don't know. I mean, you got to remember, though, these voters empty. wanted less candidates running, not more candidates running. And right. these, these are the I'm candidates. I'm talking about that... contenders. <laughs> but, but voters. I'm sorry, back to you. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, I know so many people that just don't have a candidate. Well, look, I think that there there is still a sense that, that people are just feel confused, that they just want to get some answers out of who is best positioned. Because, again, this question of electability is still driving at the heart of all of this, of, like, who is actually going to be able to beat Trump? And because there's just so many answers to that question, that's part of why there's sort of this searching feeling of, like, okay, who else might even be out there? But I don't think that at this point that we can expect that, that these voters are going to search for another person coming out of, out of left field.